Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Markets are lower overnight. Some people say turnaround Tuesday on a Thursday. The supply bulls, though, do not want to sell this break. They still see long range two week U.S. Midwest forecasts warmer and drier than normal. We do have some chance in the eastern Midwest for some rains over the next maybe four to five days, but the West stays mostly dry. Overnight crop ratings, USDA lowered the soybean ratings as expected, but they raised the corn ratings. Uh, mostly better crops in the east, offsetting a little bit of drop in the west. They also lowered the spring wheat ratings, but they actually raised North Dakota ratings. So we've got a sharply lower trade in the spring wheat overnight, and that's leaked into all the wheat markets. Uh, some people think that there are some technical indicators in the wheat that suggest the market was overbought and due for a correction. November beans is still inside day. Um, December corn is trading below Wednesday's low and the wheat markets had a pretty key reversal. Uh, in these types of weather markets, you're going to see a lot of reversals. Um, today we've got a private estimate coming out for the 2017 crop productions. We'll see if they keep the corn and, and soybean yields unchanged from the USDA's June number and see how low they go with the spring wheat crop. Um, there's been four years, only four years in the past, in which USDA has changed the corn yield in July. Um, ahead of the official NAS number in August. Uh, the most prominent number was 2012 when the crop was only rated 40% good to excellent versus uh, last night the USDA estimated the corn about 68% good to excellent. So we doubt the USDA is going to change the corn yield on their July S&D numbers. So we'll also note to see if um, technically uh, we can hold support at some critical levels. If the long range maps are going to be supportive on the upside and take out the highs, uh, how much farmer selling is going to be done. Uh, in the cash, it continues to weaken. A concern that we don't have a lot of new crop bean export sales on the books. Corn uh, exports are going to decline next year. Wheat exports are probably going to decline, and food demand will probably decline with these higher wheat prices. And then we have to try to figure out what the USDA is going to say on the July supply and demand report. So all these balls in the air suggest a lot of volatility, a lot of uncertainty. Uh, but again, the, uh, the weather bulls don't feel like you should sell this market at this particular time, that we could make new highs if the last part of July is warm and dry across the U.S. Midwest. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services, and have a safe and profitable trading day.